गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर प्रिया अग्रवाल सेकेंड ईयर रेसिडेंट इन एम डी रेडियो डायग्नोसिस एट महारिषि मार्कंडेश्वर यूनिवर्सिटी मुलाना माई टॉपिक ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन इज एन इन्फेक्शियस डिसीज ऑफ द जेनाइटो यूरिनरी ट्रैक्ट कॉमन येट ऑफ एन ओवरलुक्ड ट्यूबरक्लोसिस बींग एन एंडेमिक डिसीज इन इंडिया लेट्स लर्न अबाउट जेनाइटो यूरिनरी ट्यूबरक्लोसिस कमिंग टू द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट Tuberculosis remains a worldwide scourge with significant mortality and morbidity. The usual tests used to diagnose genitourinary tuberculosis are the demonstration of mycobacterium in urine or body fluid and radiographic examination. CT urography performed on high end multi detector CT scanners may detect early changes. Multi detector CT scanners forms the mainstay of cross sectional imaging in renal tuberculosis. It can easily identify calcification, renal scars, mass lesions and urothelial thickening. The combination of uneven calyactosis with urothelial thickening and lack of pelvic dilatation can also be demonstrated on multi detector CT. clinical presentation genito urinary tuberculosis has varied presentation the most common way of presentation is irritative voiding symptoms which is found in more than 50% of the patients the usual frequency of organ involvement is kidney bladder fallopian tube and scrotum the other symptoms include fever weight loss anorexia back ache and abdominal pain the disease also has varied presentation and some of the common ways of it are recurrent or resistant urinary tract infection sterile pyuria with or without hematuria irritative voiding symptoms that is frequency urgency and dysuria it can be incidentally diagnosed in a known case of tuberculosis renal that is hydronephrosis or pyonephrosis or epidermal mass infertility and pelvic inflammatory disease it can also present as renal failure that is chronic kidney disease due to parenchymal infection and obstructive uropathy the other ways of presentation described are flank pain with acute pyelonephritis non healing wounds sinuses or fistulae like nephrocutaneous fistula or vesico vaginal fistula and also hemospermia the stages of the diseases are classified as early progressive and end stage disease in early disease the radiological features show papillary necrosis that is single or multiple resulting in uneven calyactosis in the progressive stage the images reveal multifocal strictures and hydronephrosis associated with mural thickening and enhancement on cross sectional imaging end stage disease shows progressive hydronephrosis and parenchymal thinning with dystrophic calcification with or without autonephrectomy the images here reveal patchy inhomogeneous nephrogram with multiple wedge shaped and linear hypo enhancing areas noted predominantly in mid pole and to a lesser extent in the lower pole this image reveals an irregular hypo dense hypo enhancing cavity measuring 1.2 cm into 2 cm into 1.4 cm in the mid pole which is seen communicating with the corresponding calyx This section shows contracted urinary bladder with diffuse irregular enhancing wall thickening with a maximum thickness of approximately 9 mm with few seculations seen within the bladder lumen This enhancing wall thickening is also seen involving the bilateral vesico ureteric junction and distal most part of the left ureter for a length of approximately 2 cm This image here shows lobar caseation of the left kidney with assimilation of the calyces into the renal parenchyma. 
the calyces in the right sided hydronephrotic kidney are seen to communicate with each other and are clearly demarcated from the renal parenchyma also note is made of stricture of distal ureter all these images reveal genito urinary tuberculosis in different stages in male patients we also need to look towards the testes of the patients and the ultrasound findings might reveal heterogeneous hypoechoic collection in the testes suggesting of abscess in formation with bulky epididymis and hypoechoic collection within it the final diagnosis of the above images reveal genito urinary tuberculosis coming to the discussion part renal tuberculosis has a wide spectrum of radiological presentation early recognition and characterization can help in treatment and affect prognostication of disease ct is the most sensitive modality for visualizing renal calcifications and ct intravenous urogram is more sensitive at identifying all manifestations of renal tuberculosis tuberculosis can involve both the renal parenchyma and the collecting system that is the calyces renal pelvis ureters bladder and urethra and results in different clinical presentations and radiographic appearances these are my references thank you